Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I made uh, this art journal book to the left. Yeah, so I had a commenter asking me how I would make my art journals with no fabric uh, on the book covers but papers instead. So this is another one that I have made using my leftover papers and um, I've made my four handmade paper <laughs> and I used my four handmade paper to, for the cover and um, yeah so I have my signatures as usual and I usually put five papers together and fold them in half and then sew them uh, you can see that in my other video on how I make my art journal book but instead this time I'm going mm -hmm. to make it a bit different I'm gonna uh, sew the spine together with an extra strong sewing thread and you just sew through the, the stitches back and forth back and forth so it'll get really I have to change this but yeah now it's better because I have to be able to access the the stitches of course and um, so I s just as I said back and forth you just sew it together and that'll make it really sturdy and this is a way that I saw in a book that I have a book about book binding the easy way for hobby people <laughs> and yeah so I'm just fast forwarding a bit here because there's nothing much to see when I'm so now I'm done here so that is it and then I use my paper clips to keep it together still and then I'm going to glue the spine also and I'm using my quick glue from Panduro it's a um, really nice glue and it's quick drying because I don't have patience to wait you know but yeah I really wanted to show how I make this book because the process is a bit different from where I use the fabric uh, when I use fabric I make a spine in the middle out of cardboard also and I put it all together you can see that in my other video but here I'm gonna make each cover on its own and now I'm actually using my um, transparent gesso to glue it I think you can use any glue and I'm gonna use a paper that I received in a package uh, that I really like it's kind of copper and it's you know really nice and sturdy so I'm just making sure that it's stuck everywhere and then I'm gonna fold in the corners and the rest of the sides but I take the corners first as I did in my other video with the fabric like so so that's one of them and I'm making two of course and then I'm going to use a bit of, this is actually, um, what do you call the, that in English? I don't know, in Sweden we say mitella. That's for when you have maybe injured your arm and need to keep it fixated. Uh, but you can use some bandages or cheesecloth or some 
thin fabric maybe so I'm just gonna um, um, add it glue to it and then I'm gonna add it to the spine just for an extra for extra adhesion because in my other video in my other art channels where I covered them with fabric I just glued the pages together instead but here I haven't done that so I have to make sure the spine is together yeah so this is what I'm going to use for the spine to cover the spine and keep it together and this is actually kind of a fake leathery fabric it's not really fabric it's more plasticky <laughs> I don't know fake leather you know that kind of thing but it's really shiny and I'm gonna use that and as I said I don't know if I said that but you could also use paper of course but then you have to have paper that is flexible like the ones you the rolls of cardboard that you can put around um, fragile things in the shops and uh, I don't know if you know what I mean but um, it's kind of yeah rolls of cardboard you can use those but I didn't have any so I'm, I wanted to to use this fabric thing so I'm using it well, I'm doing it like I did with the other book I'm just gluing the first and the last pages to the covers trying to make sure that it's kind of straight and of course on the left side you have to <laughs> have it uh, equal and um, yeah so now it has dried a bit and I'm going to add the, the spine thing I'm trying just to measure to see that it's even on both sides I don't have any exact measurements for you but you could just wing it like I do <laughs> uh, I just want it to be kind of accurate on both sides it wasn't so I need some adjustment here and maybe you could do without the spine because it's just for for the look of it I think but maybe it holds together a bit also keep it together and on the other book I showed you earlier I used uh, linen fabric for the spine I like this way also but um, because of the sewing uh, it takes a little bit more time to make this book than the other one uh, the one with fabric I had in the other video I can link you to the other video in the end of the vi this video So this is it but I also want to show you how I strengthen the spreads with some masking tape so I just put some masking tape in the middle because it'll protect the spread from bleed through and I don't always use it or do it but uh, the best thing is to do it on every spread of course and it strengthens the book also but this is the result and this is the other one that I made previously uh, and I like those kind of books also they aren't as wide in the spines as the ones I use for fabric and I haven't tried them out very much but 
this is of course another way to make them your books and uh, I like the look of them I really do so please try for yourself and see which way you like the most and um, you could of course use any paper for covers and you can use leftover papers for the inside for the spreads also like I used to do sometimes and uh, thank you for watching and please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out so thank you bye